Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Tulsi Lelushaba and thank you very much for coming back and joining me today. If you are new here, please remember to hit that subscribe button. And if you are returning, thank you very much for coming back and joining me again. And I hope that you do continue to enjoy my content. Uh, as you can see by the title of this video, today we are reviewing the Quick Face X Mr. Price in collaboration with Ayanda and Lungile Tabete, the seven step quick face makeup routine and makeup line. Today, I am going to be doing a review as well as a first impression as today is the first time that I'm going to be using and uh, using the products. This is the look that I achieved by using the seven step quick face makeup routine. If you want to know how I achieved this look, please, uh, continue watching uh, today I'm here with a makeup review and um, this is a first impressions I have not opened any of the products I have not played or touched or felt any of them so I'm going to be using them uh, for the first time and touching and feeling them for the first time I am reviewing the quick face X mr. price in collaboration with Lungile and Ayanda Tabete and I bought the whole kit with my own money. So please believe I'm going to give an honest review. <laughs> okay, so I went to Mr. Price and I purchased this. It I bought the entire kit. So it was $5.99. I bought um, the seven step starter kit in medium. Uh, there's three shades, light, medium, and dark. I think it's called dark and yeah so let's see what's inside you can purchase the products individually but because i wanted to do a full face review i decided to purchase the entire kit and um, when you do purchase the entire kit it comes in this bag it comes in a bag written quick face on it i think it's quite nice this is a nice makeup bag so i will probably be storing the products in this bag you can obviously use it for anything else when you open it it comes in a plastic bag and uh, it comes with an um this card with basically a description of what everything is and what everything is for okay and the different steps so we're going to be following these steps so it's a seven step makeup application and um, there is no foundation so it's just basically concealers and there's nothing else in the bag it's quite spacious I like that okay so let's go into the individual products I'm not sure if Mr. Price, if it actually comes in this or Mr. Price that I went to put everything in here. So when you go to Mr. Price, they only put the bag without anything inside. So you just go there and you go to the till without and then they will bring this on the bag. Back. So I suppose, I suppose they did that because uh, they don't want people to steal the products. I don't know. Okay, so um, no particular order. So you get the Supreme Glow Highlighter. The Quick Face Defining Brow Pencil. The Quick Face Hydrating Mist. Quick Face Volumizing Mascara. The Quick Face Ultra Lip Gloss. The, in, the instant concealer and contour palette this one is in medium as well as the quick face perfecting loose powder so yeah those are all the products so let's get started step one it says um spritz are infinite hydrating mist across the face and let it enrich the skin with moisture you can pop it in a bag for on the go hydration okay so that's this so we're going to use this as a prep for the skin and i'm going to use it throughout as well as a setting uh, mist okay so here we go okay Hmm. 
it's got a light scent it's got a nice fresh scent um yeah i like that it's got so the scent is not lingering um you can't smell it right now but you can smell it immediately after you've sprayed it that's quite nice so let's let that dry okay while i'm letting that dry um the second step is uh, the instant conceal and contour palette by using this all-in-one uh, power palette you can conceal pigmentation cover redness and contour your way to an even more flawless face no more reaching for the foundation because you'll get all the coverage you need from the concealer okay so i do like that i am not a big foundation wearer anyway i'm okay with not using foundation um so let's see how this performs i'm trying to open it i have played around with them they are quite creamy so i'll most probably use these four these ones seem a bit too light for me or my pref preference Okay, so I'm going to start by concealing my dark marks on my jawline. That's basically my problem area. If you watched my... Oh, a review. This is quite oily. The quick face. It's... um, It, le it, it feels... Interesting. I have never sprayed a spray like this. It's quite oily. So I'm not sure about the people with oily skin how they're going to feel about this. But it, it, it does leave a nice shine, but it does feel, your skin feels silky. That's the word. That's interesting. I haven't had a mist that's, that's that feeling before. So I'm going to conceal. So I'm going to take the darkest, uh, well not the darkest, but the second darkest shade on this palette. And see if I can conceal... This is more closer to my skin tone. I'm just applying, I'm not blending. It's, I'm gonna take a foundation brush. I'm currently using the Real Techniques foundation brush and we are going to be tapping. So if you know my previous routine, I already did a makeup routine and no makeup makeup uh, with no foundation. So I, I already enjoy not using foundation. It's not necessary, especially if you are in a rush. And this quick face makes me think that it is suitable for people who are always in a rush or who don't want to have too many steps in their routine. Okay, I'm just gonna have just add a little bit more heavily covering the way I like. Okay, so these concealers are, are medium coverage, they're not full coverage, they're very uh, creamy, so they easily blend into your skin um they give a medium coverage not a full coverage because i can still see my spots through um, but it's great okay so let's go under the eye Using this shade again very creamy I like that okay let's highlight with it as well I'm actually doing this backwards. I should have done my... I like to do my eyebrows first. It's too late, it's fine. So I usually do my eyebrows first, but we can do this, it's not a problem. Let me conceal this and blend it in. 
do my eyebrows then i'll continue in contour because now i feel weird <laughs> doing uh my i don't like to do my um what is this i don't like to do my eyebrows after my base it's just a preference you can do it after i'm going to take a damp sponge let's see if this blends we are pouncing bouncing Okay, again, very light coverage. This is more so for highlighting, not really concealing. Now I need to do my eyebrows. We're using the Quick Face Brow Defining. What does it say? Here it's step five. So they expect you to do your face and then your eyebrows. I don't, I do my eyebrows first. Achieving fuller, more defined brows just got easier using the spoolie brush to lift and style your brow hairs complete your desired look thanks to the angle tip for precise hair like strokes okay that sounds great so let's open this okay i have it open okay so let's do our brows i appreciate the fact that it has a spoolie so Okay, so I do like the pencil. Let's do the other side. Depending on the type of look you're going for, you can clean up or not clean up under the the brows for so today I'll clean up I'm going to use a flat brush so I'm going to use the, the color that is most closest to my skin You can use a um, a concealer that is lighter. You can use the same one that I use under my eyes, under your brow bone. But because I'm not going to be using any, um, what is this? I'm not going to be using any eyeshadow. So I'm, I, I'm not going to highlight under my eyes. I mean, on my eyebrows. What is this called? Eyelids. <laughs> I'm not going to highlight on my eyelids. <laughs> because um, I'm not going to be using any I'm not using any um, eyeshadow so I just like to tap so we can blend it in and make it look seamless and that's that so let's do that on the other side so I'm just grabbing like that like that so it's quite creamy so it picks up quite quickly Lift my eyes a little bit. Okay, so the eyebrows are done. Let's continue. Okay, so now I'm going to be um, contouring. So this is the only one that the option I have. So I'm going to pick that up. So let's start with the nose.
forehead and cheeks. You can do your jawline as well if you want. Let's blend. I do like the fact that these uh, concealers do um, blend in quite easily. Can you see? It blends in quite well. I'm going to just take the lighter one again. And just highlight my forehead again. coming together <laughs> okay and then wow I actually like this it actually blends in very very nicely oh I didn't say this is the real techniques uh, sponge I've had it for quite a long time so they're very good quality I think now you can get real techniques from clicks. And um, let's highlight again. I'm going to take the lighter concealer and bring it in the inner of my eye With the contour, the black contour, I'm just going to take some on my brush directly and just contour a bit. I want a harsher contour, a more defined contour. And this is also going to act as my blush because they don't have blush in this um, step. So this is also going to act as my blush because I enjoy a blush. See that looks nicer. Again, do the same for the other side. I like it. I am filling with I'm filming with natural light, so I moved back a bit. I moved back a bit so you can actually see my skin. It does your skin does come through, but now you it's like a nice beautiful glow. Um, I really like it. So now we're going to um, perfecting loose powder. Um, okay, so let's open that. Oh. Oh. I wasn't expecting this much powder. <laughs> oh. So be careful when you open it. Oh. Okay. So I'm going to take my sponge and dip in. I 
and under the eyes we go. I take it under the contour as a form of reverse contouring. There we go. All right then. Let's brush the contour. Um, so you want to brush the contour off your nose um, contour. There we go. I don't really like baking, so I'm just gonna wipe the bake off um, quite quickly. eyelids are oily so I just take some of them on my eyelids just to powder my eyelids the powder is a yes from me it looks very nice it's very finely milled okay so now we're going to take the hydrating mist again and hydrate and mist our skin um, so that um, we can take away the harsh lines and the powdery look. It's quite an intense spray. Look. While the mist is drying, I like to go back and um, under my eyes and tap it in because I don't like it to dry in funny patches so this avoids your under eyes drying in a weird way all right so let us highlight let me open this as well so this is the supreme glow highlighter the pamphlet says let's take your glow to the next level apply our um, your highlighter directly on the areas where light naturally hits your face shoulders and collarbone so you can also use it on your shoulders and collarbone that's nice the bronze tones blend across the skin to give you a natural but unmissable radiance okay that sounds lovely so let's put that to the test it looks very nice okay so here we go we'll just take that oh, okay just tap some off Oh, whoa, okay, hello. This is intense. Oh my gosh. Woo! Wow. Can you see that? Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's do the other side. Oh, snip. Okay, now. Quick face X, Mr. Price, come through. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Now, Lila, this makes it all worth it. MAC highlighters are around 500 rand. The last time I bought a MAC highlighter was around 450. I would most definitely buy this one from Mr. Price. I'm sure it's around 100 rand. I'm not sure individually. Okay, so I like to highlight here and here. Oh my god, this is intense. Highlighter, and I like to take some on here and here. You see, when the light hits you on your forehead, there we go. 
Oh my goodness, that is amazing. I love that. Look at that. I don't take my highlighter all the way just here. And on your nose. And your cupid's bow. Mm -mm -mm. Love it. Come through. Uh, that's my new favorite product. I can't stop looking at the highlighter. Okay, so let's continue with the mascara. Voices volumizing mascara. Where's my pamphlet? So, start from the base of your upper lashes and wiggle back and forth. The curved brush helps for more individual application along the lashes. Repeat slowly until you achieve your desired thickness to prevent clumping. I am intrigued by the shape of this brush. I have never seen anything like it, but I get it. It should make um, application to your bottom lashes easier. Okay, so here we go. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Just a little bit. So I've messed up a bit on top there, but I'll clean that up. That's just one quote, quote. Let's do the bottom lashes. Okay, this application I'm not sure because when you do your bottom, so do it this way so it doesn't touch. So doing it like this, it made me touch my under eye. So I'm not sure about this curved brush. See, so. You have to do it backwards so that you don't so that you don't touch but now the product's not getting on mm -mm. I'm normally not this messy with my um, I'm not a fan of the curved brush for me it's making everything messy up you see now I hate cleaning up So it's safe to say this is my least favorite product. I don't like the mascara. It's leaving my lashes quite clumpy. And I've only put two coats. It's quite messy because of the brush or maybe I'm not using it properly, but I usually don't have an a problem with the um, application of mascara. So not my favorite product. I find it very hard to use. It's too thick. It leaves your lashes clumpy. Let's try the bottom again. See, then how am I supposed to get to the corner? Okay, no, I'm gonna stop there. Before I make a mess if you can see 
on the one there's too much product it takes too much product and I did try to wipe it off but it makes a mess on this so I just don't know maybe if you can tell me how you find using this there's just too much product and when you do that it's like it doesn't allow you to get to the corner there's too much product on the end even I get it I mean it's a nice concept you could also do that Let's move on last step is the ultra glass lip gloss the thing is so you just put lip gloss without anything so I'm just gonna line my lips I'm gonna use the Michelle Ori uh, Paris um, retractable lip liner in coffee I got this from a di the, uh, disc came there's my lips I've got full lips I don't overline excuse me my lips there's no need but if you need to overline them overline nice it's not sticky I'm just I need a color I can't I can't just do bare lips if I'm doing a face I need a color so I've got here my Mac natural bone leader just gonna put it over just some color much better yes and that's quick face really guys I am going to just do my hair and I'll be back with my final thoughts okay guys this is the final look really it is a quick face I think it works. That's the program, uh, the five, the seven step uh, quick face work. Yes, it does. Um, I think it is for somebody who um, who really wants a quick face and not looking for all the fuss of foundation. And uh, if you're just looking to conceal your dark marks and to highlight and to get that um, quick face, then this is the product. These are the products for you. Um, remember that the concealers are um, medium coverage so they're not full coverage because if you can see you can still see my um, problem areas through but um, generally uh, you it gives you a nice base to work with um, always make sure that you do work on your skin skincare is very important um, in order for the makeup to sit well on your face and um, yeah so recap I, I do like the seven step um, what is this quick face uh, makeup routine my standout product is the quick face supreme glow highlighter this is the girl that she thinks she is I love this I mean I mean hello so I really enjoy this if you're looking for something in an inexpensive highlighter that does the job this I'm very very impressed especially for the price that you're going to get this for uh, my second favorite is the uh, perfecting loose powder I think this is well done it is very hard to do a nice uh, loose powder and for the price this is very nice it is finely milled it is very 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 soft and delicate it's not powdery um, I really really do enjoy this 
so these are my two standard products these are, um, are products that i personally will continue to use and rebuy in the range my least favorite product is the mascara no this is a no from me um i i like the concept of the curved wand but it makes application for me um like messy and it's very hard to work with i don't like the formula of the of the actual product as well it's very clumpy um so i am more of a mascara snob as i said i like a i rather pay for a good mascara there there are a lot of mascaras that are affordable but they just don't cut it I and mean, that's all i have to say least favorite product is this one um the rest are okay um they're, they're as expected but yeah recap two favorite products least favorite product but other than that this is the look i hope that you enjoyed my review thank you very much for watching i hope that you did enjoy my review of the quick face x mr price uh collaboration with ayanda and lungi letabete and um please leave a comment and uh, tell me what is your favorite product in the range what did you most enjoy using and that's it from me for today. Please remember to subscribe to my channel so that you, we can continue to grow. Please share the video so that we, we can reach more people. And um, I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Bye, everybody. Hugs and kisses.